Harvey got off the blocks quickest. Mary Sophie Harvey felt at the top of her game last month after the World Aquatics Championship in Hungary. It's Harvey who's regained the lead. But that changed when she went out with her team after competition to celebrate. There's like this four to six hour window where I have no clue what happened. And I heard bits by people, but it's basically them telling me a story where I'm the main character, but I can't recall a single thing. Harvey suspects she was drugged. The gaps in her memory, bruises on her body, sprained ribs and mild concussion have left her with troubling questions. I guess it's like the what ifs and the unknown that are still scary. Harvey posted about her experience on Instagram, saying the resources for victims are still difficult to find and the judgment from outsiders still very much present. She didn't go to police, she said, because the gravity of what had happened didn't sink in until she was back home in Canada. But Swimming Canada and the sports governing body are investigating. We take the best care we can of our, of our swimmers and we'll continue to do so. And we'll be looking at our policies uh, maybe to see if uh, there's even more we, we need to be doing. There is mental health support available for Team Canada athletes. But this sports psychologist says organizations should think about prevention too. And I don't know what kind of preparation was done, but certainly I, I think this is a great example of how at least putting it on their radar, helping everybody be educated about how to watch each other's back and how to respond to these situations is really important. Harvey hopes telling her story will help. But we need to start the conversation and it, it makes me happy in a way that uh, I've touched so many people by sharing it. She says focusing on her sport has been therapeutic. She's preparing for another competition later this month. Alison Northcott, CBC News, Montreal.